I made a video about 11 things I wish I knew before I was 20. And this is six more because there's some more things on my mind. Number one is to take care of your skin. I never really cared about this. I took a shower every day and I was pretty much fine. As I got older, I started to realize that, hey, having a skincare routine can make a difference. I look healthier, I feel better. It does take a few minutes in the morning and the evening, but take care of your skin because if you don't, you're gonna be all wrinkly, and by the time you're 35, it's gonna look like you're that 40-year-old at the beach whose skin looks like a raisin. You don't wanna be that person. Two, risks to impress people are not worth it. Peer pressure, shot, shot, shot. Whatever it is, it's not worth it to impress people for that little bit. As an example on this, I have a friend, his name is Sam, and he liked to cliff jump. He went cliff jumping, and he was going a little higher than he probably was comfortable with, and he went to do, I think it was a double backflip. However, he landed a little bit wrong. He ended up damaging his back, and was in the hospital for a couple of days, I believe, and was recovering for a few months and had some severe, even mental and brain issues because of how he landed. This was him, I don't know if he was trying to impress people or just be cool, but doing something outside of his comfort zone that is gonna affect him for the rest of his life. And impressing people is not worth a moment of triumph. Three, it's okay to not have everything figured out. I used to think I knew exactly what I was gonna do. I was gonna go to school, apply to med school, take the MCAT, and I was gonna be a doctor by the time I was 35 and roll with life. And then I got to 22 and I realized, I don't know if this is the right path for me at this time. In the same way, I'm figuring out my character, my morals, what do I wanna stand for? What do I wanna do for a living? Who do I wanna have as my friends, as my partner? All of these things are big questions and it's okay to not have these figured out. Be doing things so you can learn more about yourself to get closer to these things because this brings a lot of meaning in your life, but it's okay to not have your life figured out by the time you turn 18. Number four, your self-worth is not determined by the amount of views or likes you have on social media. It's so dangerous when you see somebody get one viral clip and all of a sudden their entire personality is clinging on to that one big view video that they had because the algorithm treated them well. It leads to a constant roller coaster of ups, downs, ups, downs, because you're letting random people decide how you feel that day based on if they tap on a screen two times or not. Number five, learn to manage money and keep a budget. Know what you spend and where it goes, what it takes for you to live. This doesn't mean you need to be crazy hypochondriac about it, a spreadsheet every time you spend two cents, but you should know how much you make each month, what it takes for you to live, to eat, to travel, to do the things that you enjoy doing. This goes in line with picking a career. You wanna find a career that provides the lifestyle you want, but also provides the income to live that life. Start learning about things like credit accounts, saving for retirement, which I know is really, really far away, but at least knowing the principles makes a big difference. Doing these things will help you have a lot more financial literacy and it'll make your life way easier. You'll have the ability to do the things that you want to do. Number six, value relationships with family and value relationships, for me at least, above all else. I've had the most meaning in my life from the connections that I have with people. And connections that I haven't had with people have also caused me a lot of pain and grief, whether that's because I let the friendship die or I didn't give it the nurturing that it needed. It might seem cheesy or cliche, but it's cliche because it works. When you have connections with people, you feel better. Studies have shown the number one predictor for a long life is the number of social connections, relationships that you have with people. And this doesn't mean just dating, it's any kind of relationship that you have. So value them and take the time necessary to treat them well because they're gonna give you dividends beyond anything you could invest in the market. Those are six more things I wish that I knew before I was 20. I hope these help you. If you wanna hear more or you have other ideas, let me know below. You're awesome and see ya.